Staying up late with us, I'm Jeff Herndon. And I'm Julia Thatcher. The hit and run happened Sunday, killing Tad Doyle on his bike. Wichita police still looking for the driver who did not stop. KSN's Derek Lytle spoke with loved ones about how their grief has turned to frustration, Derek. Yeah, Jeff, Julia, Tad Doyle's family now offering a $50,000 reward to find who's responsible for his death. His girlfriend was there when he was killed, and she tells me she was left helpless as that driver took off without stopping. Pain. As Tad Doyle's girlfriend, Mindy Ward, realized he was dying right before her eyes. I'm so hurt and mad because they left. And I couldn't help him properly or try to because... I needed help moving him. The couple was riding separate electric bikes. She pulled into his driveway. When she heard a loud crash from behind, the driver who hit Tad not stopping to help. And I asked if Tad had, had made it. Um, and they said no. Tad's best friend, Michael Poland, says he rushed over, not believing Tad was gone. I think I'm still in shock now with it all. I don't know that I've fully accepted what has happened yet. Um, so, it, you know, it's, it's, it's been an emotional roller coaster. Their daughters played soccer on the team Tad coached, a family man who also enjoyed traveling the world. Some people take a, vacations and some people take adventures. We took adventures and explored the, the world, you know, uh, lived. Mindy hoping friends cherish the time they had with Tad while he was still here. When I talk with his friends, they have the 20 years, 30 years of memories. And so I'm mourning making those memories with him. WPD is actively looking for this silver SUV. If you have any information, you're encouraged to call Crime Stoppers. Here for you, Derek Lytle, KSN News 3. The first preliminary